Hello, this is Macworld Illustrated, and in this video, I will be introducing Cladosporium, a common genus of fungi. Now, what do I mean by genus? Well, if you ever heard of the saying, King Philip came over for great spaghetti, it is a way to classify all living organisms. Cladosporium falls under the kingdom fungi, the phylum Ascomycota, the class Dothidiomycetes, the order Capnodialis, and the family David Delicii. Species. There are actually many, many species under the name Cladosporium, but there are four that are more common than the others, and they are Cladosporium herbarum, Cladosporium spherosporum, Cladosporium cladosporides, and Cladosporium microcarpum. I will mainly use herbarum, the most common species, but I may mention a few of the other popular ones as well. Here's a full list of species, but I won't be going over them in this video. Most, if not all species of the fungi, are olive brown to brownish black. Since they are molds themselves, most species also have a velvety texture common to almost all mold. What well, now, where does this mold grow? Well, Cladosporum is usually found in all types of plants, in the air, and in many different indoor environments. Speaking of indoor environments, if there is enough moisture present, they can also grow in houses, making them a big problem that people need to prevent or solve. However, this mold is not limited to houses. They also thrive in cosmopolitan areas and are frequently isolated or separated from the air. Now, time for the million dollar question. Are Cladosporium spores dangerous for your health? Although this commonly airborne mold may cause allergic reactions for some people, it is generally non-pathogenic, meaning it will not cause harm to another organism. However, there have been reports of skin and lung infections by some species, but those are exceptionally rare. Here are the credits from my sources. Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to check out these slides, the link for them will be down in the description below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Microworld Illustrated video.